Hello, today I'll do a review on this and it's the Doctor Adventures issue 281 and it was on the 9th of 15th of August 2012, it was 2 99 so it says BBC packed with mega monster scares out every Thursday, like Doctor Who BBC DW Adventures, look at that, I know, like the DW at the end, like heroes and villains, like whose side are you on? Like right, cyber ma cyber maze, quick help Rory escape. Intruders will be deleted. Like amazing posters, like ugh, the doctor loses hand. Mm. Like plus prizes, comics, puzzles, shocks. Right, see so the front. Oh, on the back, so look at this. <gasps> look at that. Like right, the Doctor Who experience. Doctor Who BBC D Day experience. Poor Tia Cardiff Bay. Look at that. Like right, the Doctor Who experience in Cardiff Bay. Wicked. Like, book now. Be part of the all new adventure. Now open in Cardiff Bay. Only 10 minutes from Cardiff City Centre. DrHoExperience.com. And there's the number. 10, minute by, 10 minutes by bus. 20 minute walk from the Cardiff City Centre. Well, the thing is, Cardiff Bay is actually really, really close to City Centre anyway. But, unfortunately, the Doctor Who Experience in Cardiff's not there anymore. Because it, it closed due to a five year lease ages ago. Like, in 2017. Like the doc, and there's a mega moment here from the doctor's wife. Chose my Ro Rowan seal. Tell us why. Like, it was great when, when Idris and the doctor built the junk ties to rescue Amy and Rory from the house and nephew. Very clever. Yeah. Oh my beautiful idiot. <laughs> from the doctor's wife that is. Vol vol. Yeah. Like monster watch. So you've got Gantok, Weeping Angel, Slovene, Sycorax, Silent. Like true or false, the ties has been human one. Has been in human form what more than once? Uh, false. It's only once. Uh, Charles that became human, which was a shame. Okay. The TARDIS has only become human once, which is a shame. Okay. Well, please save me from the monsters, George the Tenzer. Yeah. Hello, time travellers. I uh, guess where you guess where I just come from. No, you're wrong. Well, just a bit. I've been to a planet where people have no mouths. Ha! <laughs> Can you imagine having no mouth? Think of all the things you'd miss on, like singing, eating sweets, and telling your friends rubbish jokes. Turns out they, um, that they eat, sing, and laugh uh, through their ears. Okay. Like, I said I said to, to one of them, that's a bit weird, but they were halfway through their breakfast and didn't hear me, the doctor. <laughs> that's funny. So on the Geronimo news page, you've got to watch the Doctor's Universe. Pond Life, the gang heads to a cool convention. Comic-Con is a brilliant convention where film, TV and comic fans and stars gather at San Diego, USA for loads of fun. This year, saw Matt Smith, and Karen and Arthur, along with showrunner Stephen Moffat and executive producer Caroline Skinner, talk with Who fans. Talk with Who fans. Like, they all had a hoot but talk of the Ponds big farewell revealed how sad everyone is. Like, says Matt, Stephen, Karen, Arthur. Yeah. Boo hoo, or the weeping ain't. Well, we're weeping, I know. And there's of who's who. Doctor, Amy Pond, Rory, River. Like, star in, star in the mag, tell us your mega moment. They're all the best bits, surely. Yeah. We love hearing about your favourite bits from Doctor Who, that's it. Like, suits you, look at that. No wonder I smell like parps. Wow. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, what is a Sontaran and an Ood favourite bird? A bold, bold eagle. Okay. Hot. Top gosh from the, from the cool Comic Con. Matt, Karen, and Arthur are such brilliant mates. I know, exactly. Sneaky bits of gossip about the new series. Like, it's a sad reminder that Amy and Rory are leaving. We hope that um, it isn't too sad. We ha still haven't um, recovered. From when Donna left. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That was a really sad exit then. Heroes. Get all the facts on our favourite adventurers. Like Amelia Amy Pond. Girl who waited. Hero rating 8 out of 10. The Doctor. The Oncoming Storm, aka. Like Gallifrey. It's Time Lord. Or Amy Pond's human. Like t Hero rating 10 out of 10. Oh no. River Song, Melody Pond, Species, Human Plus Time Lord, I oh, know, yeah. Like, 9 out of 10, yeah. 
And then you got Rory Williams, the last centurion, planet Earth, like human, and then here rating 8 out of 10, yeah. Rory was not knock, knocked out by a rubbery ganger, yeah I know, because it happened in that Just Let Us Live scene. Hall of Heroes, Madge Arwell, why is she a hero? She carried planet through three souls of the time vortex. Craig Owens, Battle of the Simon on the ship, Silent Ship's Avatar. Like, Rita, why is she a hero? She was caught under pressure while dealing with the Minotaur. Madame Bastra, a, a sword wielding Silurian, yeah. Canton Delaware, help the Doctor and his gang sneak the funny, and fight the sneaky silence, that's it. Commander Strax, like he fought during G. He fought during Demon's Run, that's it. Become a hero, your name, why are you a hero, that's it. And now you've got villains. Don't miss any data on these devious baddies. Like Weeping Angels, villain rating 8 out of 10, the Lonely Assassins, that's it. The Silence, <gasps> 10 out of 10. Like 10 out of 10 is their villain rating. Senators of History, or Sentir... Tinnels of history, unknown species. Daleks, villain rating 10 out of 10. Pepper Pots, aka like Scar and then Khaled's or Khaled's or whatever. Like Cybermen, Human 2. Speak, okay, a parallel Earth. Like villain rating 9 out of 10. Yes, that's really cool. Hall of Hero, a uh, pool of monsters, sorry. Monsters. Name Sontarans, like. Why are they villains? They were built for war and battle everyone that they want to battle everyone. Silurians used to rule the earth and now they want it back. Prisoner Zero, face of Tendril, escaped jail and nearly got fired. Earth nearly got fired, I know. Name, Davros, why is he a villain? Create the dark and destroy to destroy, try to destroy reality itself. The master villain, because mad time, all that's a really bad combination. The beast. Claims to be an old original and possess people. Become a villain. Name and why you are a villain. That's it. And then you've got a cyber maze. Like cyber maze with a cyber man head in the middle. Okay. Like, uh, which way, Doctor? Come on, Beaky, run. Like, come on, Beaky, run. Yeah. Oh, he says Beaky in the God Complex. You know, Amy, Beaky. This could be the most exciting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Who wins? Meta Wars and iPad. Who refers to the Doctor as the oncoming storm? The Daleks. Daleks, yeah. George and the Big Bang. Like, which companion married Mickey Smith? Martha Jones, yeah. Like, arg, Mrs. Tinkle on Neville, yeah. So it looks like you've got the um, pig slaves and Daleks set Kyber in this comic. And the Grask. Ooh. Like, more laughs at Arg next week. Yeah. Like, creature feature. Monsters share their beastly bits with us. Like, it's this week's auntie and uncle's favourite scene from the Christmas invasion. Yeah. The Doctor lost his hand, I know. But no problem. That the Doctor remained regenerative energy meant he could grow a new hand. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he was still within the first 15 hours of regeneration energy, so he could do that. Like, grow a new hand. But that new hand, it was a fine hand, yes. We could call them Psychorax. <laughs> oh, look at the camera, my love. Like, it's my favourite part, do you? Like, give her a big hand. I oh, know. Uncle, the tenth doctor was a, lo was a lovely man, wasn't he? The eleventh got very cross when he found an aunt in a Time Lord arm. Relax, I say. We like spare limbs. We hate big chins. <laughs> we mix with spare regenerate energy when, when, when touched by Donna. The spare hand grew a duplicate doctor, and now it's called sp spare parts. Oi! <laughs> Monstrous moments, like Patra, Auntie's hand picked pr pr pleasures. Ooh, it was a shock when his hand came off. I said to Uncle, that's proper shock that was. And that, that was a new hand, it just grew back. It, it was even the right size. My giant arm didn't play me off. Play me up. Uh, they're ugly butte brutes, aren't they? But at least they have their own arms and legs. Yeah. And you got who wins again? <laughs> Lego Ninjago. Like, 
what did the doctor play against Gantok? Live chess. Oh, it was live chess, yes. Like monster texts. Everyone went on the doctor's phone. Dorium! Like being just ahead is not cracked up to be. Look at him, he's got the hat on. He's in the box. Dorium. Doctor, the seventh transept Wi Fi is broken. It's very boring just being ahead. Wait, how are you type without fingers? I am using a very clever telepathic loop, and all I do is simply think what I'm going to say. Now that's cool. I wonder if, if I still have that Stetson. I love a Stetson. I'm sorry? The bow tie's a bit silly. It's, it's a ridiculous man, but he does have very good hair. Dorium, are you feeling okay? Whoops, sorry, I was thinking. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Like time and relative dimension in space. The TARDIS. That's what the TARDIS stands for. Like Doctor Who BBC Dido Adventure logo there. That's it. And then you've got the Doctor's companions. Like this week, Brave Scott Jane McCrimmon. Like, who is he? Brave Pie from Scotland who met the second Doctor after the Battle of Culloden in 1746. Like Heather McCrimmon, descendant of Jamie Travel the Tenth Doctor and Doctor Adventures comic strip. Heather or Heather, yeah. How he left the time was captured the Doctor, but then they were sent him and wiped his memories in of his time in the TARDIS. He forgot all this. Oh no. Like while playing Jamie on TV, actor Fraser Hines released a Doctor Who pop song. Who's Dr. Who's Doc? Who's Doctor Who? Yeah. Or who's DR Doc? And that's it. The tenth Doctor once pretended to be Jamie. True, it was in Tooth and Claw. Last word is, well, I'll show you, Krieg. And her. I don't quite know if I said that correctly, but Fraser Hines is Jamie. Doctor Who Adventures comic, the Intergalactic Trials. Yeah, the Intergalactic Trials twenty four twelve or two thousand four hundred twelve. That's it. Like, don't miss another new adventure next time. Yes, subscribe today. Special offer. So, I've got that issue there. I've got that one, but I don't have that one there yet. 278, don't have that one yet. Like, four issues for one pound. Most awesome offer. Me at me wow. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got Doctor Who Secrets Werewolf Breakout. Original storyboard secrets. It's a full moon. The monk monks open the hatch. Like, bar bathing or bathing the host in moonlight. It begins to transform. There's the script. Tooth and Claw 2006, yeah. So you've got Rose and the other are horrified. Like, they try to break their chains. The host body shines with light. And Rose tells everyone to pull, yeah. Like that storyboard there, I oh, know, look at that. But it's too late. The werewolf bursts out of its cage, yeah. Rawr! That's it, I know. Concept art. And werewolves love mi mistletoe. No, they don't. They don't love it, no. It, doctor, Doctor, yes. Do you need to promise someone to ask the Doctor? Rocking regeneration. What was your favourite regeneration? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure. There, there, was, there was such thing as good regeneration. It's pretty painful and it can be sad. And it really destroys your clothes. Yeah, I liked hiding inside the test selector when that doctor shaped and had put on the regeneration show. After being blasted by that naughty astronaut, it was like the coolest fireworks show I'd ever seen. I was right in the middle of it. I asked to go in one of the antibodies to go and get me some popcorn. They said I was an authorised cheek of it. Extra meme. Look at that. Extreme. Like, make a splash of monster mail. Look at that. Gay nine. And then you got upload. Top upload. Louis Gold, Tardis plush. Look at that, <laughs> Doctor. And then me, um, R R R Amy Roy's best moment from Cold Blood. Puzzles, yes. Supreme Dark from Re R R Resurrect the Darks nine eighty four. Eleven free gifts. Mega Monster set one pack as the in the next issue. Master favorite moment is on a spaceship. Monster text. Don't miss it. That was the sixteenth of August two thousand twelve. So. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.